Welcome to the Interstellar Stories channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a topic. Numerous conflicts throughout history have been connected to religion. For instance, during the Crusades in Christianity, which took place between the 11th and the 13th centuries, Christian troops battled to free the Holy Land from Muslim rule. Protestants and Catholics fought each other in the 16th century French Wars of Religion. Conflict between Protestants and Catholics also occurred during the Thirty Years' War in what is now Germany in the 17th century. The Taiping Rebellion and the Northern Ireland Troubles are two such instances. Throughout its 2,000-year existence, Christianity has undoubtedly been associated with several battles. Religious strife has also historically existed in Islam, particularly in relation to the idea of jihad, which meaning struggle. Sometimes seen as a holy war, jihad entails fighting to defend or extend Islamic territory. The view that religion, especially Islam, is a significant source of conflict has been reinforced by events such as the September 11 attacks and the ongoing battles in the Middle East. There are Old Testament tales in Judaism as well, such as those found in the book of Joshua, where God gave the instruction to wage wars in order to take the Promised Land. These instances suggest that religion is a major contributing factor to many conflicts. Although it is a common criticism that religion causes strife, the truth is more nuanced. While religion seldom serves as the main catalyst for conflict, it can play a role in them. Thinking about it, one of the deadliest centuries in human history was the 20th. Millions of people died as a result of the Holocaust, two world wars, and communist revolutions in nations like Cuba, China, and Russia. Ideologies drove these confrontations rather than religious beliefs. For instance, millions of people died as a result of the atheistic ideology of communism, which was practiced by governments like those in China and the Soviet Union. The Holocaust was caused by Nazi ideology which placed a strong emphasis on eradicating certain races that were seen as inferior. These crimes were mostly caused by these ideologies rather than religion. It is evident from historical accounts that intellectual disputes have claimed the lives of more people than religious ones. Ideology and religion can both be secondary causes of conflict, but human nature is the fundamental source of all conflicts. The Bible provides clarification on this. It says that immoral desires like greed, selfishness, and envy are what lead to wars. For instance, the book of James claims that our wants for things we don't have are the root cause of disputes and arguments. Jesus also said that murder, bad thoughts, and other crimes originate in the heart. Conflict and war are ultimately the product of sin. The Bible predicts a day when God will establish universal peace. The future described in the book of Isaiah is one in which there will be no more wars between nations and weapons will be transformed into instruments of peace. Thus, although religion has contributed to many wars, human sin is the primary cause of war. Only until these more profound problems are resolved will there be peace.